It ain't no point in giving up, you know? It's like, they don't want to let us get into the game. We're going to have to get into it ourselves. We ain't going to give up. They don't want to let us in. We're going to make a way. No matter what, we got to do the foot traffic. We're going to do the foot traffic. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep going because it's our season. Nothing else. Our season. <laughs> We gonna let them yeah, let them say. Yeah. Y'all got YouTube? I've been moving, calm, don't start on trouble with me. I have an account. I have it. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. All right, check us out. You know how I like it when you love it on me. Gang, you already know how it go. It is T back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the channel where you watch, smile, and laugh. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Follow us at We Are BC4E and go to our website to cop the merch. So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I will be doing a Never Have I Ever. Brandon is editing videos right now, but I am going to do a Never Have I Ever for you guys. Um, so let's get into it. So, um, this is where I have my questions. So, yeah. Never have I ever smuggled food or candy into a movie theater, of course. Who doesn't? Every single time I go to the movie theater, we have to smuggle candy in. I have to bring my bag, and I have to, uh... Normally, it's like a dollar store nearby, so we'll rack up on some candy and put it in our bag. Um, we shop, we have a big family, so we shop at um, like uh, places where they sell stuff in bulk. So we do get like candy and stuff in bulk. So we always smuggle candy to the movie theater. Um, never have I ever tried to cut my own hair. I always cut, like, I cut the ends of my hair, but I'm assuming with when they mean cut my own hair, they mean, like, razor, shave, cut down. No, I've never tried to cut my hair like, like that. Um, I did always try to do my eyebrows when I was in school. Like, I always tried to, um, you know, like, pluck them, and it's like uh, some razor uh, thing that you use for your eyebrows to like shave it down and I always used to try to use that and mess up my eyebrows so one time my mom just cut all my eyebrows off and yeah she cut all my eyebrows off and I had to go to school like that with no eyebrows um, because she cut them all off because I kept trying to cut them and left patches in them so she cut them all off <clears throat> yeah <laughs> Never have I ever had a fake ID. Nah, I never, honestly, the only reason I've never had a fake ID was because I didn't know where to get it from. <laughs> if I probably knew where to get it from, I probably would back then get a fake ID, but I don't need a fake ID now. And if you're watching this, you probably shouldn't get a fake ID because it's three to five years in prison. <laughs> you shouldn't get a fake ID. <laughs> Never have I ever lied to get a job. This is something that I've always like been on the fence about because I'm like, oh yeah, they make you put down your reference numbers and all that other great stuff. But never have I ever had a job that I applied to that literally called my old bosses so if i had to get a job now i probably would like exaggerate where i worked at in my position just because i know they're not going to call them but i've never lied to get a job because i always thought that they were going to call their reference numbers and my old boss and like if it was like a really like a high a high position or a position i i didn't know that much about. I always thought that if I put more than what I actually did, that they're gonna see it when I come to work because I'm not gonna know how to do it. So I never lied. Never have I ever re-gifted something that was gifted to me. Um, 
No, I've never re-gifted something that was gifted to me. I've always like given it away. I've never like had the nerve to wrap it up and actually like gift it to someone else. I would like give it away like on a regular day. I would like wait to like wrap it back up and gift it to someone else. Like I just would not like would not do that. Um never have I ever eaten food that fell off the floor. I've eaten food that fell on the floor numerous of times. Um especially M&Ms. <laughs> let's see let's see never have i ever stayed up for more than 24 hours yeah i've never stayed up for 24 hours i can't stay up for 20, 20 for 24 hours let alone more than 24 hours so I think the longest I may have stayed up was for, I don't know, probably like 15, 16 hours, but never 24 hours. I couldn't stay up literally for 24 hours the whole day, like sun up to sundown or sun up to the, till the sun comes back up. Like I have never did that. Never have I ever dropped my phone in the toilet. So, I was, me and Brandon were at, I believe it was ShopRite, and I had to go to the bathroom, and I had my phone, because back then I used to keep my phone like in my back pocket, so when I went to go pull my pants down to go to the, use the bathroom, my phone fell out my pocket into the toilet, and it was in ShopRite, so I'm like, was kinda like hesitant, hesitant to like get my phone out the toilet because I'm like this is a public restroom and my phone just fell in the toilet so I was pretty like yeah but I wound up getting it and um like w washing it off and um wiping it down with those um things that they have for the carts yeah so I, I ran it underwater put the washed it with that and then, um, I'm not gonna lie, I probably had a hoodie on her pants and I wiped the, um, like dried it off with my pants. Um, never have I ever dyed my hair and it had, and had it turn out t terribly. I dyed my hair maybe like twice or three times in my whole life. Um, I can't say it turned out terribly um they probably weren't always the colors that i was expecting but they definitely didn't turn out um terrible uh because i can wear short hair you know how some people just can't wear short hair it's like yeah uh no but i can wear short hair and i think i can pretty i can pull off a lot of colors so i i haven't had like it turn out terribly like i haven't turned had it turn out terribly <laughs> Let's see. Never have I ever given or received a lap dance. So, hey babe. Hey babe, I'm talking to the camera. Babe, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so never have I ever given or received a lap dance. I've given numerous of lap dances to Brandon. I've given numerous of lap dances to Brandon and I've never received a lap dance. Never have I ever played strip poker. No, I haven't ever played strip poker. Never have I ever dated more than one person at the same time. Yes, she has. No, I have not. Yes, she I has. have never dated more than one person at the same time. Oh my god. If you're talking about talk to more than one person, then that's a different story. That's the same. But if you mean date, no. 
talk to yes yeah that's yeah that's true if y'all believe that never have i ever used a dumb pickup line i don't pick up guys so i've never used a dumb pickup line like that's just stupid to me i've never used a dumb um pickup line mm. yeah never have i ever tried to make someone jealous um yeah i've tried to make people jealous before I'm trying to think what age group, cause at, cause at, cause at some point it just becomes childish to try to make people jealous. Probably high school. I've been out of high school for, I don't know guys, I think like three going on four years now I've been out of high school. Wait, let's see. Yeah, like three, three going on four years I've been out of high school, so um yeah never have i ever been slapped in the face um i have never been slapped in the face before no one has ever slapped me in my face um yeah no one has ever slapped me in my face yeah no one has ever slapped me in my face never have i ever snuck into a concert or professional sports event so i've never snuck into um, a sports event or a concert, but I can tell you one time, um, me and Brandon bought tickets and it was like, um, to a Sixers game. And we realized that the people in front, like we were like, all right, if it gets like, you know, well, it like a good amount of time into the game, like, you know, like 10 minutes in the first quarter, if the people in front of us, like the seats in front of us are not filled, like we're gonna find seats down there. So we changed our seats, but we never like snuck into the place. But yeah, that is the end of this never have I ever. If you guys enjoyed that video, comment down below um, suggestions or things that you've done um, in this never have I ever video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and check out all of our other dope content. Thank you guys so much for watching. BT Gang is out.